it's uh, another gloomy morning here in lovely Maryland. Uh, this is another vlog video, something casual, uh, but some exciting things happening here. The SHO is done, the exhaust work is done, uh, my financial debt is uh, higher than it's probably ever been, <laughs> and uh, well, at least I have probably one of the more unique exhaust setups in the SHO community, so that's cool. I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see how the final piece turned out. I'm not exactly sure what needed to be done. At the time of dropping the vehicle off and getting everything set up, they weren't even sure what needed to be done uh, until they got the car, you know, up on the lift and started putting everything together. So, but they, they got it all figured out. It's all in the car. I know it's going to look good. That is a given, but more importantly, I hope it sounds good. Now the X pipe they used was a lot different than what I had used. So I had used like one of them stamped um, X pipe pieces and the X pipe they use is very similar to that on the Ford GT exhaust. So it's kind of like um, two U's joined together in the middle. So that is what they use to create the X pipe that uh, is on there now. And so there's a lot more separation between the two um, pipes than there was with the stamped piece where it just kind of like blends into this open space in the pipe and you know figures out which side so it should it probably will change the sound a little bit now for the better or worse I don't know I'll find that out here soon so I'll be here in about eh, I don't know a minute I'll walk in there uh, pay the rest of my debts and uh, pick up the car and we'll see how it sounds I'm also curious to know if it's any quieter um, now that there's a perfectly sealed and constructed exhaust, which would be nice because the drone was getting a bit annoying. <laughs> so, uh, pulling up now, and I uh, guess we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, so here it is, just kind of initial startup of everything. So much nicer now. I mean, look at that. All right. Obviously, I'm going to make a more in-depth video covering, uh, you know, the work here, but this is just kind of a, you know, like I said, it's a vlog video. So let's get on the road here and see how it sounds. Immediately, I can tell the difference in where the drone is. So it's like cruising here. I'm doing 65 RPMs are in sixth year about... Uh, 15, 1600, 1650 RPM, somewhere around there. Very, very minimal drone. Uh, so much more quieter now, cruising at this speed. I noticed the drone does occur uh, right around 2300 RPM. That's where it's the loudest. But that's not bad because really the only play, the only time you get like at highway speed, the only time you get the RPMs up that high if you're doing like 80 plus, which not usually I'm doing it any given you know for long stretches of time so uh, yeah like cruising is definitely seems a lot better now so that's good that's real good um, and there is seems to be a change in the resonance it sounds good uh, there definitely is like some there's a more of a burbly resonance kind of like the uh, the sound I'm, I'm chasing so it's more or less just ever so slightly more closer to that sound than it was before. Um, but there are definitely a lot of tweaks we need to take care of uh, to really complement that tone. Obviously, that will be taken care of in the midsection and possibly uh, I'm gonna be working on like uh, some equal length downpipe, three inch downpipes in the future with uh, you know the, the midsection as well with custom resonators or very specifically chosen resonators or uh, some type of setup, maybe do like a uh, uh, resonance chamber or something to tailor the frequency of the exhaust just right. Uh, so this will definitely be a one of a kind tuned exhaust setup, not going for loud here. We're going for some volume uh, with a very unique and uh, refined sound. So that, that's the whole point here of this setup. It's not just overly, bearingly aggressive or loud or whatever. It's a very refined, um, tuned exhaust. You know, these are, you know, these were considered performance 
luxury sedans, if you will. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, the cheap man's Audi, right? Give it some of the goody parts that only those expensive cars get, you know, so it's not too bad. Obviously, because of the money I put out now for this piece being a 100% custom piece done by a shop, um, that, uh, you know, it's, it's not your, it's not a Jiffy Lube. You're not in and out, and it's not uh, $49.99 fee, you know. We're, we're, we're talking about four figures worth of money spent to have this setup done. In a way, you know, I'm definitely loving the idea that I'm, you know, being the pioneer of this. It's really cool. I really love that fact. I always want to be different, and I always want to be, do something like this, like be that guy to create something um, that's different from the rest, you know, and there's always a possibility if I can get the system just right that I could have it produced and have other people order it and, and have it a bolt up system for their cars. This is kind of like being the pioneer. It's also doing the R&D for a possible full exhaust system that you'll be able to get for your car. So yeah, it's an investment thing probably at that point. I can't guarantee what the future will bring. All I know is that other than spending the money, I have probably one of the most unique exhausts now for the SHO um, and probably one of the more unique tone in the SHO community. I also am having extreme amounts of fun with it. So that's the most important part. You know, these cars would be nothing if, you know, what's the point if you're not having fun? And it's just, I'm having fun. I'm having fun and that is the main goal to all of it. Sometimes my brain just doesn't stop. It just keeps on going. I don't, I, I guess it's a good thing, you know. It's definitely cost me a lot of money. <laughs> this is just, you know, the casual, talky, you know, update type vlog video. Nothing special here. Um, but if you did watch it, then you at least get to see that there is going to be a very exciting video um, coming up in the near future about the exhaust update here on the SHO. So, Obviously, for those who are interested, please keep a lookout. There will be a video within the next week or so. Um, bear with me doing everything. I just started a new job, so it's really hard now to have to juggle the YouTube with a full-time job. You know, it's not easy. It's really not. Anyone who tells you YouTube is easy, they're just, they're ignorant. <laughs> they're straight up ignorant. It's one thing to just point a camera at something and then call it, call it content. But you know, I do my best to try to create entertaining videos, create videos I know I would want to watch. Um, not to try to create boring videos, I try to create as quality content as possible. And I try to do my best to, to, to be different and set myself out there. You know, I can spend anywhere from an hour minimum to three hours editing a video, you know, trying to do special things just to make the video more appealing so it takes a lot of time out of your normal day and when you only got two days off a week and there's other things in life you need to take care of it's really hard to, to try to manage doing YouTube and everything else and the thing is at the end of the day while my goal is to be able to monetize the channel I actually really enjoy doing this it's really fun it's really fun to be able to kind of connect with people it's really fun to um, show my my passion and share all my ideas and projects um, with the world. So it's really cool. There's a lot more benefits to YouTube than just the monetary um, potential of it. So it, with it, that within itself definitely makes it a, um, a humbling experience because when you take the money out of it, obviously if you're, if you're only doing it for the money, then you're doing it wrong. I, you know, I've, spend so much time watching youtubers and just to you know not even be one well known perhaps but just to be able to do what they did um do the experience what they experienced if anything that's what i want the most out of this i would love to be able to do things in life that are otherwise not really obtainable um you know just i noticed so many just even your smaller youtubers like um stang mode you know, I watched his channel from when he was very, very small, when he had his EcoBoost Mustang, and he was called EcoBeast. You know, I watched him. At the time, his content wasn't like the most exciting. It was refreshing to see an upcoming YouTuber not sit there and be the typical YouTuber. Hey, 
hey what's up everyone blah 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 here and I'm gonna show you my piece of crap Honda Civic blah 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 I'm gonna go do stupid things thanks for watching yada 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 you know you know he was very humble about his videos and I respected that and that's what that's what gained my my interest and that's what I you know I subscribe to his channel and I've been a subscriber ever since so, you know, and he's come up in the world now where he's doing car giveaways, you know, he's definitely on the next level. And the things he's experienced um, over the journey, you know, he was able to go to a Ford factory and build his GT500. He was able to, he, he met the CEO of Ford, Jim Hackett. It's crazy, you know, and it, it was the YouTube channel that got him those experiences that gave him the opportunities to do those things that otherwise he probably would have never have done um, you know anyone can be a car enthusiast uh, and and there's so many car enthusiasts out there but it, it takes a really dedicated person to push you know the passion and share it on YouTube and to do it right um, you know while retaining an audience it's it's tough it really is tough so once again anyone out there who says this is easy Please reconsider everything I just said. Ask yourself then, is it really easy? Is it really easy? No. Can it be easy? Yes, it, it can be easy. However, I'm sure to create an easy process would make a compromise on the quality. It's always the quantity over quality thing, right? I choose to do more quality videos the best I can. You know, I'm not a professional video editor. I'm learning everything. I did, however, know audio editing um, for many years now being in the music. So learning the video editing is not, you know, it's not super uh, foreign to me, but it's definitely a learning curve. I'm getting much better at it. I'm getting much more quicker and fluent by videos, my edits. So it takes less time now for me to put together a more solid video, but that has come with time. That has come with learning and has come with the patience to sit there and try and no matter what i'm always going to upload a video i've received so much just <laughs> negativity over some of the videos some of my early videos that are actually some of my most popular videos like um is the 2010 the 2019 sho a good car you know that video is what eight, over eight thousand views now and it's just amazing some of the stuff people say it's crazy how so critical people are on the internet and you know I do my best just to brush them off and uh, but sometimes it does get to you and it, and it kind of kills your morale it kind of kills your confidence not only do you have to discipline yourself to keep pushing and keep trying but you have to be uh, mentally strong and emotionally strong as well to deal with the toxicity that is the internet um, so, because there are people out there who will disagree with you. There are people out there who are going to say things you don't want them to say. It's just how it is. And I am open to free speech. I completely welcome it. However, there's some things that shouldn't be said. It just goes back to being a respectful and a courteous person. You know, if you don't have something nice to say, it's probably best that you don't say it at all, right? Especially when the person that you're trying to say it too has done nothing to you but it is what it is and it's just another hurdle that you kind of have to overcome to be a youtuber or to be any type of influencer um, on the internet nowadays you know the world is a toxic place and because the world is such a toxic place I would love to be this kind of light in the dark and and be the person to, to show people you know, or just to give people hope, like a lot of YouTubers did to me when I was in my darkest time of life, and to give people um, the courage, and just to give people something to join life. You know, there are a lot of people out there who don't have the privileges um, that some, that a lot of people do, and you know, as, as bad as things are in, in the country, and in the world, and uh, you know, and as bad as things have been in, in, in the country, um, historically, we are still many steps ahead of other countries who are so poor that they're, they're not worried about what car parts they can buy next. They're worried about how they can eat for that day. So when you look at it in that light, you can only be humble about it. You can only be thankful that 
you are where you are even if it's not where you want to be because it could be so much worse um, and I would love just to be that person in in the world that can just help people if not physically but just be able to help them emotionally give them something while you know give them something to brighten their day if they watch my videos if they enjoyed it if they had fun if it gives them some sort of admiration some inspiration some courage anything if they can get any of that from any of my videos then I feel like I have done more than I could ever have done as many times as people have done me wrong and as many times as I've, I've encountered some very 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 evil people so there was a point in my life where I hit my rock bottom and it was tough it was really tough um, and a lot of my time was spent in the bed watching YouTube videos and if it wasn't for watching these people um, these youtubers and just YouTube in general just the community around it and everything if it wasn't for watching them it would I would have had nothing nothing to look forward to in a day and it was that bad it was really rough for me um, so I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be in a pl in a dark place. It's not fun, and I don't want anyone to be like that. I don't ever want to see anyone go through that in their life. And if I can help, if I can be anywhere to help them make it through the day, if they're having a rough spot in their life, or whatever then that would be the best thing ever that and that within itself is worth more than any amount of money um because it's just i know how much it is and I, it, it hits me really hard to know that people other you know other people out there struggle every day i still struggle every day and that's another thing is it, doing this has helped me keep me focused has helped keep my mind in the right place and on track it's tough it gets really really tough sometimes but um you know i know what i want to do and i just keep the big picture you know there and i just keep trying to focus on it keep pushing every day so youtube as a whole has been you know extremely important to me in life so there's so many reasons why i'm doing what i'm doing now if it ever makes it further than what it is now then i can only be even more humble than I am now because of how much it's given me already. All we can do is just keep trying every day and keep trying to be the best we can and, and enjoy life. That That's it. That's plain and simple and that's the skinny of it all and it's just the simple truth. But that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you wanna see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.